Prepare to die. Well done. Good intro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> where, uh, where, when we last left our heroes. Oh, s- say it again, please. Radvilaita. Radvilaita. Oh my gosh, that so fits this lore. Uh, we were just we just finished the prologue. We spent about thirty minutes on freaking character creation and just Woo. telling stories. But hey, worth it. <laughs> worth, worth it. Worth <laughs> it. Yeah, absolutely. And Palos and I f- just uh, figured just reviewing the last footage to see, like, oh, did everything come out all right? It did, but we don't finish, like, any of the stories that we start telling. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, the old witch's ring. Ooh. Witch's ring, of course. An there old ring with no known use. Minutely with indecipherable script was seemingly useless. Okay, that's really cool, because actually the ca- what you said, the right. character, uh, the Quilog's uh, sister. Yes. She's a really cool character. Uh. and But, like, up until now, it's super mysterious, because she's, like... When you meet her, she's in a super weakened state, so she doesn't say anything. It's always like dot dot dot. So I cannot wait to see what that does. Interesting. So yeah. okay, we have this little depressing. Which will probably dude. be like five weeks from now, right? Yeah. If that. You must be a new arrival. So here's an NPC. Yes. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. There's no salvation here. You've done better to rot in the undead asylum, but too late now. You're reading it isn't going to make it go any faster. Yeah. <laughs> well, since you're here, let me help you. There are actually two bells of awakening. Yeah. Two. Oh. The other is far, far below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Bring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, he's a depressing move. The soul... Yes. Three humanity? I didn't know that you start off with that much. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, cool. So we're going to do some uh, some exploration. This is mm. the Firelink Shrine. And so you currently have zero humanity? Yes. And so you could equip multiple? Humanity? Oh, yes. Right. And, and then if you, well, die, right, you lose one, right? No, you lose all, all of, of them. All of them. So why would you equip more than one? Um, Because the... um. It uh, see that is something that I know less about. However, it's the idea that the more I- I- in the game's lore, the more humanity you hoard, the more um, life, uh, the more that um, the universe shows favor on you. Okay. So this way, this is, this does is a lot of enemies drop rare items, so they drop. It increases the drop rate. Okay. You get certain weapons. Um, actually increase damage output the more humanity you have. Okay. So the weapon that I had in my other file, Quilog's Fury Sword, the one that you make with her soul, which oh. is super cool. Oh, shit. So the, with the, every time you defeat a boss, you can make a unique weapon with it uh-huh. if you get the right things. Uh-huh. So that's really cool, too. And the um, more, so, the, so that would be something where so you had multiple if humanity. you have three humanity with Quilog's Fury Sword, it like doubles her damage or okay. something. Or and if you the then lost your humanity, or you had only one, then yeah. it would be a different out- damage output. And if you later had five, then it would be... Exactly. Seven. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. um, but yeah, you Any, lose... Anything else besides those? Um, like drop rates? Or drop um, rates? So drop damage. rate, damage. Um, aside from that, I don't know. I think you get like overall damage betterment or something. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So this is actually a trap door. But that doesn't get opened until super later. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Who opened this chest already? Not moi. <laughs> all right. And uh, so you smash things, and there can be fake walls and all that, right? Yes. Oh, illusory walls. I I wanted to kill myself the first time I heard about one of those, because it was the worst. I was so annoyed. So this is Petrus. I don't normally talk to him much. Hello there. Um. I believe we are not acquainted. Yeah, Petrus of Thorland. If not. I prefer to keep my distance. <clears throat> but um, we do have business because I want to join his covenant. I that I, but I also want you to know <coughs> oh. that it is not meant in you. Yeah. A token is pe- no, of peace. Good. It's for me. A copper coin. Okay, cool. Well, he teaches miracles. Oh, oh, I have to awake my companions here. So what if I were to teach you what that so what's cool is that the different NPCs actually have their own story arcs in this game. So his companions will actually meet him later on in the game. <clears throat> so yeah, I already belong to this covenant, of course! Yeah, because that's what we start off with. Uh, right. But my efforts and my faith. Okay, so let's... So I've already... Okay, so let's learn a gesture. That's always fun. I'm gonna learn shrug. Cool. 
Purchase items. Seek guidance is absolutely worthless. <laughs> um, but let's see. Homeward is... Linked to one's homeland, but the curse of it has distorted its own power, redirecting casters to a bonfire. Perhaps undead this serves as home. That's not bad. Um, because there there are items called homeward bones that allow you to do that. Okay. Already, but... Uh, so yeah, I'll probably get... Uh, seek guidance oh, does the one, great... Why is that useless? What? Seek guidance does what, and why is that useless? Um, it's... You go out onto the internet and ask other people, oh, like, what to do. Okay. But usually it's, like, try jumping. Was, so is that was that five uses or something, or twelve uses? Uh, use yeah, that? uses one. Um, okay, and so that means that it would be one use between bonfires, yes, essentially? Yes, okay. precisely. So I can't afford any of these right now. Come again. I will come again. The effectiveness... Of your teachings is based on your faith, I get it. The classic Dark Souls rule. Yes, indeed. So, oh no, it's a bottomless pit, it's an elevator shaft! Or is it? <laughs> so there are a lot of actually really awesome items hidden in here. Um, I believe, I have a mace here, but I think the Morning Star is a weapon that's in here? Okay, so Homeward Bones, like I was just saying. So when you use those, no matter where you are, you can return to the pre the, the closest bonfire, the last bonfire you were so at. Immediately return to Immediately your return with all of your souls and your humanity. Excellent. So they are very useful. Aha, uh -huh, we have a little hidey whitey over here. <laughs> what does this one have? The cracked, oh, so those are what allow you to invade. Uh, other okay. people's realms. Okay. I have never done it successfully. Oh. Um, but Does there have to be somebody available? Yeah, someone has to kind of be available. So you have to be in a place where there are a lot of people. So right outside a boss is a really mean place to put it down. <laughs> and then the Lloyd's Talisman, I don't know what those do, except they help you find... Uh, there are these really awful, awful, awful bad guys. Super late game. They look exactly like a chest. And if you try mm. to open them, instant death. They mm. eat you, mm. and it's fucking awful. But the Lloyd's Talisman helps you do that. So I have to drop down here. Um, uh, okay. But you could go another way, right? Yeah, and so there are a lot of assholes here who don't die. But there are a lot of really good uh, uh, like uh, things here, too. And one large soul equals how many normal souls? Uh, two, maybe a thousand? Uh, okay. Um, Wait, you, so you currently have 2,000 some souls? Okay, I got the Zvi Hunter, so we're good, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Not fast mm. enough. Okay. So that was that. You die. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be the first of many this playthrough. Um, so you lose all souls? Unless all you souls go back. and humanity, and I'm now hollow again. Unless you go retrieve. Yeah, thing. so... Yeah, so is there no point in going to that bonfire then, or? Um, yeah, it's it's fine. Uh, everything gets replenished. It's like I'm leaving the bonfire. So here's the mm. thing: is that like two thousand souls is nothing. I'll get that in no time. But I did have humanity there, and I kind of want. Oh, and there's an item over here, and more more assholes. So the the thing the thing that sucks about these skeletons mm -hmm. is um. They don't die permanently. They'll oh, keep even, on coming back. Oh, even if you kill them? Even if I kill them. Because um, they are uh, being powered by a necromancer that is currently unavailable to me right now. Okay. okay. So there's your stuff. Okay. And... Uh, mm. Yeah. And they also ran pretty hard for early game. Uh, okay. We're good. Wow. Dude, yeah, it's brutal. I know. Um, feel bad for all the people who started playing Dark Souls who thought this was the way to go. <laughs> like me, probably. Yeah, like you, probably. But these guys are pretty damn persistent, and I'm gonna die again. Why are you not Estus again. flasking? Uh, because I wanted to get out of the range of their weaponry, but that is a fantastic question. To which there was no good answer. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've done all that, we're ready to progress to the main game. Boom, boom, boom. So we can actually go one of two ways, um, because, oh, we don't have the master key. So there's a hidden way. This mm. is the whole rest of the game right here <laughs> that I didn't even know about. So here's the firekeeper. She's not talkative. She's not, she cannot speak. Um, but firekeepers are the people who guard bonfires. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> So if we go this way... Wait a minute, so I don't think I've been down this way. No, I... So, but when we... You watched me play a little bit, did yeah. you not? And you did not lead me down this way? Did no. you not know about this way? Um, yet? I didn't know how far you could get this way. Okay. Um, but yeah, we could actually go and make a, make a super shortcut. So you can just keep going the game this way? Um, or only if you have a master only key? Only if you have the master key, gotcha. actually. So okay. there's not too much of a reason to go down here. Unless we want to go to the Valley of the Drakes and come up through the Dark Root Basin. That could be fun. Let's see if we can do that.
The open world aspect is, of course, pretty cool. Oh, I like that about games. Yeah, well, it's seamless is what it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's really cool. So here's New Londo Ruins. Uh, this is uh, something that happens... Ooh, hello. A soul of a nameless soldier. So, of course, like these different souls. The, the, the biggest one that I've yet come across is soul of a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from boss souls, of course. Uh, okay, so the other gate is here. And we break these because there's usually, there's sometimes something hiding in here. So let's take a so look. So drops can be random. They're and not all necessarily the same. And for... it's locked. Okay. No, uh, from treasure chest, no. It's, there's only, or like from uh, uh, ransackable things, mm -hmm. no. It's the same drops every time. It's the same things every time. And it's usually only once for items like that. So we're going to head back up and actually go the way the game, you know, kind of wants us to go. So we cannot really go anywhere this yeah. way. And I'm going to also equip some humanity again. Because uh, if I had the homeward spell, I could have just done that without having to do this whole elevator jank. But, yeah. But yeah, the open world aspect. And, and honestly, the world only just opened up, like, for realsy in like my other playthrough once you defeat ornstein and smo mm. that's kind of okay. where the that's where the linear game ends because right now our our objective is we got to ring the bells of awakening right because both of them uh yeah because yeah, okay. according to the lore that is what the chosen undead will do mm -hmm. so they're kind of like this is sort of the part of the 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 everyone is sort of depressed and in despair and the world is going to shit and people are kind of just waiting for something good to happen and the the oh, uh, lord how long must we wait yeah Oh, yeah, very nice. Okay, yeah. we're so just... this is all right. So this is going. This is basically us going to. Um... Um, shit, I can't. Um... Oh well, that was a mistake. <laughs> all right. You know, I, I I am really embarrassed right now. I cannot remember the name of. Um, Rivendell. This is us going to Rivendell. Yeah, sort of. To start the rest of the quest. It's yeah. a quest to start the rest of the quest. Yeah! Alright. And uh, we're gonna... We're gonna quit this episode here. Probably take it up in a little bit. Uh...